Morning to you, Alan. Good Tuesday, and we are taking a live look at the top terminal building of Chair One at the Loveland Ski Area. Just six degrees. Sun is just starting to come up now along the Continental Divide in the High Country. There's been so much snow in the mountains lately. We're going to take a break today. No snow in the mountains since this active storm cycle started in late January. Aspen snowmass has seen 64 inches of snow. Winter Park 50 inches since late January. Vale has seen 42 inches. Loveland three feet of snow, and all the snow has been putting a dent in the drought. Now, drought takes a long time to form, takes a long time uh, to leave, but there has been a big improvement. This is 90 days ago. This was November. 50% of Colorado was one, under one of the two worst drought categories, extreme or exceptional. Fast forward to our current drought situation. That has dropped to just 25%. So we still have a lot of improvement to go, but at least we're seeing improvement uh, for mountain areas. Here along the Front Range, drought situation's actually gotten a little worse. Moderate drought now showing up in uh, Weld County, including the Greeley area. Satellite showing mostly clear skies across Colorado, so lots of sunshine today from the western slope to the eastern plains. The storm responsible for the most recent snow in the mountains and the storm responsible for us staying so cold along the Front Range yesterday, now uh, to the east of the uh, Mississippi River. Real active weather day for the upper Midwest. West, the Great Lakes over into uh, the northeast with rain and snow today. There is an upper level weather disturbance we're watching over in Nevada. That's going to ride this westerly flow into Colorado, not today, but tomorrow. So snow comes back tomorrow to the mountains and there's going to be a lot of wind with this storm. In fact, it has more wind than snow with it. 75 mile per hour wind gusts possible from late tonight through tomorrow for all those areas shaded in the brown color. High wind watch from Red Feather Lakes and Estes Park over to Grand Lake down through Nederland into Summit County, Northern Park County as well, including going over Kenosha Pass. Really gusty there late tonight into tomorrow. High temperatures today, a little warmer. Upper 40s to around 50 is going to be our warmest day in more than a week. And then tomorrow looks even warmer than today. We could hit 60 in Denver tomorrow with the westerly downsloping wind. Close to 60 for Valentine's Day, but some added clouds will likely hold us back. 48 with sunshine Friday and then a chance for some snow this weekend and definitely colder. Only 29 on Sunday.